Okay, this has been a long time coming, but uh, after a little bit of gnashing of teeth around here, we finally admitted to ourselves that the PC is still a platform that's worth covering. So uh, we're going to build a gaming PC so we can play some games on it and cover them. Uh, and we figured, you know, if we're going to do that, we might as well avail ourselves of this chance to give you a little instructional piece on how to do this at home. So uh, we've got all our parts here uh, that go into a, a fine gaming PC. We've got our fancy Antec case here. Uh, so we'll just get started. We've, uh, we've got our little cheapo no-name uh, DVD burner uh, that mounts right in the top of the case here. Now, that's, uh, that's actually a SATA uh, DVD drive, so there will be no ribbon cables. You've got these nice little compact cables in this case. There'll be very clean uh, cable management inside, so that mounts just like that. Uh, six gigabytes spread across three modules of DDR3 G-Skill memory with heat spreaders that maximize airflow and thermal dissipation. Of course, you can't have a computer without memory. Uh, this is probably the trickiest part. You want to carefully slide these into the, into the uh, slot and wait for a little click. There's going to be a, a little click as you... Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's mounted up. Uh, Fine and speedy Intel Core i7 CPU. Uh, you're going to be pretty careful. There's a lot of little pins that you can bend on this thing, so you're going to want to be careful as you mount that thing in there. Uh, GeForce GTX 260 industry standard graphics card with a truly insane amount of memory in it. I don't know how we pulled this off, but uh, that will certainly come in handy in running some games. Uh, 700 watts of OCZ power supply. You want to make sure you have all the right connections and enough wattage to run all of the high-performance stuff that you're going to be putting in this machine. And uh, last, of course, but not least, you have the motherboard, which everything is going to mount into. So that goes in certainly last. Now, I'm going to make sure this oh, gets mounted properly. Oh, okay, so should be good to go now. Of course, if you're going to build a fancy, fast new PC, you're going to want to install a game on it. We have Call of Duty World at War here. Uh, we'll run the setup.exe on that. Uh, watch the progress bar, and okay, that should be good. Now, uh, I think we're good to go. So we're just going to screw these little thumb screws on the back of the case here and play some games. All right, well, uh... Pretty much it, start to finish, that's how you build a computer.